Hello and welcome to this video on the outlook for 2023. 2023 could become a year of relief, at least on the financial markets. That has a lot of to do with our inflation forecast. We still think that central banks have moved too close to politicians and that inflation will average well above the promised 2% in the coming years. But inflation is likely to fall next year. This is because the inflationary contribution of energy should slowly subside. For example, governments in many Eurozone countries have announced ceilings for gas and electricity prices. In addition, the oil price is unlikely to rise as sharply next year as it did on average this year. The ECB and the Fed are likely to focus on the falling inflation rate. They will take it as evidence that stubbornly high core inflation, excluding energy and food, will follow and also fall. I therefore expect the ECB to pause its rate hike process at 3% next spring, also that will not be enough to permanently solve the inflation problem. The Fed is also likely to pause in the spring. Regarding the economic outlook, we continue to expect a recession, but not an economic collapse. First, a gas shortage has become much less likely. Secondly, the German government's relief package has reached a volume of more than 300 billion euros, which represents a huge economic stimulus package. Thirdly, the pain of material shortages is easing. I have therefore raised our German GDP growth forecast for next year from minus 1.5% to minus 0.5%. A drop in inflation at the absence of an economic collapse suggests that there will be some easing on the financial markets next year. For example, 10-year bond yields are likely to fall in the coming year. Spreads on corporate bonds are also likely to decline. In this environment, equities are likely to recover, especially as recessions have often been good times to enter the market.